Capture the objectives. Enemy taking Charlie. We're capturing A. Enemy has Charlie. We're capturing Bravo. Captured A. Enemy taking Bravo. Enemy contact! Charlie. We've taken the lead. Recon is standing by. Repeat, UAV recon is standing by. UAV online. UAV online. Captured Bravo. All positions locked down. Hold your positions. Contact with enemy. We're almost there. Keep it up. Capture the objectives. We're capturing C. Enemy taking Alpha. UAV online. We captured C. Enemy has A. We've taken the lead. Enemy contact. Friendly shield. 
Yo, 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 what going guys? Gemini there again with another video. Today's video will be featuring the HVK 30 Assault Rifle. Now, I'll just be run, doing a quick um run through of what I'll be doing with this Assault Rifle. And also give you a quick preview of um, my opinion on it and whatnot. Now, my opinion on this Assault Rifle is that it is very weak. It is very weak. It is one of the weakest Assault Rifles that I've ever come across in the game. But with the right attachments, it's a beamer at long range. You just gotta play angles. You can't rush with it. Like you will definitely die to a ICR, HG40, or any of those SMGs. So you definitely have to play a more tactical approach than your normal aggressive. You know, you gotta play a little bit more passive on the passive aggressive side instead of full like aggressive style. That that's my play style, full aggression. But with this weapon, you have to slow down a bit, play angles. Hard scope around corners and get your picks. It's a laser beam with the right attachment, and you're gonna see like my attachments for this gun. I'm running two separate classes, as you're gonna see displayed here. So for the first class, as you're gonna see here, I'm running the long range class. What I'm running is the OWC Marksman. Now it gives you damage at range, as you're gonna see. Um, muscle monolithic suppressor, which increases the range as well, but also decreases the ADS bullet spread accuracy. Now the, the OWC Mark Marksman barrel increases the bullet spread accuracy so it's like a neutral point at that point like you will use one to cancel out the other now for the stock i'm running the mip strike stock right it reduces ads movement speed as i said this is the long range class so you don't really you're not gonna get full aggression on full strafing long as you can strafe but not you don't really need to strafe that much if you're hitting all your shots so i'm running this um for the stock now 44 44 run extended mag as i said the damage on this weapon is Relatively low, one of the lowest I've seen on any assault rifle in this season. So definitely need a, a lot of ammo, especially when I'm playing on like 50 ping. If a person's playing on like less ping, maybe you could run like the fast reload. Depends. Now for the four grip, I'm using the strike four grip. This weapon has a high recoil. Like before all this, the base variant of this weapon, like the bear variant, has a high recoil. So you wanna throw on like uh you know vertical recoil control attachment on this i'm not running any laser but if i was to run any laser i would definitely run the owc laser tactical to increase the accuracy a bit more um the second loadout i will be using is a short range loadout hvk 30 short as its name um i'm running a suppressed class setup but the key to this is the barrel i'm running the ykm integral suppressor heavy barrel right so only thing this decreases is the ADS speed it doesn't give you a long range effect or a positive long range effect it doesn't change the range only thing it does is give you a suppress of course for stealth and ADS bullet spread accuracy which is very needed very much needed um and the lateral recoil stability now to counter that lot or to balance that lateral recoil stability or horizontal recoil stability I throw on the strike for grip for that vertical recoil control and the ADS bullet spread, of course, as I said, ADS bullet spread is very key in this this season. Like it's the most it's the most annoying thing when your bullets not registering, even when your crosshair is on them and you have to like study recoil patterns or whatnot. It's running the same same stock as the previous build. And this time I'm running the OWC tactical laser. As I said earlier, if I was to change up anything, this is definitely what we would use for the AD speed and also AD bullet spread accuracy. Now, this loadout is for aggression. Now you can rush with this loadout, but it ain't, it, it's not a full on rush class like what you would use on the HVK or whatnot. You're still going to get outgunned by those weapons because the damage doesn't really change, but the movement speed and the accuracy changes a bit as it's more balanced. So we're still running the fight for run extended mag, so that's needed. Now I'll be showing gameplays of both classes, so stick around for that. Y'all know the vibe. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Gemini out. Peace.